Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory that is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wahabra Kakradash, Barakatam. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do well, who target this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if you go back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you could perceive it through the spirit. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh and in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh and in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Okay, so this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 2. We're going to start at verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand on thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day, all right? A rebellious house, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power. And they, whether they will hear, or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, ye shall know that there have been a prophet among them. Yet, Salakia, yet shall know that there have been a prophet among them. And that's the point of this lesson. A, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're going to know that you were being warned from the prophets of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai. Let's go here uh, real quick. Two scriptures just popped in my head that I didn't have written down. This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 1, and verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, have which have been since the world began. All right. And matter of fact, we can let's go up to uh, verse 68 and read down. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. His people are the Israelites and have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant, David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. All right. And that horn of salvation is Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, whom the world in calls Jesus Christ, but the Lord has sent prophets here to warn his people. Okay, so let's go here. Um, I a, yeah, always it's John. Yep, John chapter 15 and verse 24. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now they both, Salakia, but now have they both seen and hated me and my father. All right. Uh, verse, let's jump up to verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had had not sinned. But now they have no cloak for their sin. That's right. So so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they know the deal. They don't hurt this word. Hey, but one third is going to receive mercy. All right. And do the right thing to the best of their ability. And two-thirds are slated for straight destruction. Okay. So with that, let's go here. To the book of Amos. Chapter 8. And we'll start at verse 11. And it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. All right, so if the Lord speak by his prophets, guess what? It's going to be a time when he takes the away, and you're not going to be able to hear this truth. 
Verse 12, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. All right, because this truth is considered uh, it's synonymous with water. All right, as, as well as other things. All right. So uh, with that, let's go here. Let's go to the book of Joel. All right. Joel chapter two and verse 28. And it reads, and it should come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. All right. And the men are back prophesying right now. All right. They're prophesying the word of the heavenly father. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Hey, so it will behoove you to take heed as well as all of us. All right. To take heed to the heavenly father. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in these last times. So you know what, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will, all right, who taught me this truth and who most definitely labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessings, and salutations to all of you, Akim across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.